I think I just got salmonella by looking at this place. Gotta keep the public from dropping in for a cone. So why even put this place in the back of a gelato shop? Is this an excuse to justify a five billion a year ice cream budget? Actually, the refrigeration equipment a shop like this uses is perfect for keeping a server bank cool. And no one bats an eye when... Okay, you'll need to come up with a good reason to be here. Hmm. Looks like they're scheduled for server maintenance and security upgrades this month. That might get you in. I think I can handle a couple of data jockeys. I'm sure you can. But if the post is compromised, they'll shut it down, and we'll lose our access. You'll also need to give the correct handshake code to identify yourself as an agent. Secret handshakes? What are we, the Shriners? It's a specific passphrase that rotates on a monthly basis. You give the correct phrase, they give the correct response, and you both know everything's on the level. So what's the code? Tell them that the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. They should respond with, yes, but the Alps are lovely all year long. Got it. Let's see if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody back there? I'd like to purchase some of your somewhat suspicious looking gelato. That... That is at least seven health code violations right there. Can I help you? Or are you going to stand there and insult my shop all day? I'm here to fix the computers. We don't have a problem with the computer. What the hell just happened? I'm on a deadline. No time to jump through hoops. I'm gonna patch into their computer and get out of here before the cops show up. I'll be in touch. found by authorities in the ballroom of his mansion, which he converted in 2007 to resemble a 1980s... view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albara's our target. He's supposed to be here tonight. Well, I'm glad I brought this rifle. But what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And if the target's a scumbag, I take him out? That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera, or another person. We don't know who Albara's meeting, so taking anyone else out may have repercussions, depending on who their friends are. Roman artist. Made a name for himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses. 
but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. Owns a sports car dealership in Naples. Does a lot of international business, but no criminal record. Not our guy. Body. Looks like the guards are clear. Moving up to the next position. In position. All right, let's begin. Security guard. He's clean. Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of it. All right, Mike. Spanish celebrity talk show host. He's a known meth user, but nothing related to financing terrorists or arms smuggling. Dutch flower baron. He's suspected of dipping into the drug trade. That's all I've got. Nothing really incriminating. Private security. Ex-Special Forces. Not our man. But definitely a professional. He planned and led the assault that took back the hijacked British jet last year. I remember reading about that. Should I get an autograph for you? I'm in position overlooking the chateau. A lot of guests tonight. I see. Mike, be very... Careful, I know. I don't want a mob after me before we have a target. Immigrated to France from the West Bank about 10 years ago and serves on the board of directors for the Christian Islamic Confederation. <laughs> He's practically a saint. Keep looking. curator for one of the museums in town. His latest exhibit on the Crusades has drawn some fire, but otherwise he's clean.
That's Albara. That's him. Take him out. Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though. And... Mina, do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from. Or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of al Samad, right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But, but I might be wrong. You can take him out, or we can abort. It's up to you. What's that beeping noise? It's signed, Good Times, Stephen Heck. Yeah. I think there's enough coke residue on this knife to get very, very high. Oh, Nazari. Why can't all terrorists be as fun to kill as you? No sign of our mysterious Halbeck contact yet. Maybe he stood you up. I've never been stood up in my life. Someone has a high opinion of themselves. I'm just stating the facts. Switch off your transmitter. If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. If you open fire in here, it's gonna be a lot worse for you, trust me. Don't make me repeat myself. Ah. You've made an effort to broadcast your arrival in Rome. Why? You're the why. I was hoping if I stomped around enough, you'd come out of whatever hole you were hiding in. I would have expected a rogue agent would be more cautious. Why bother? Corporate tools like yourself can always be baited into showing themselves. It's a rookie move. So, what, now you're gonna threaten me? Go ahead, this should be worth a laugh. You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. 
If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. You are Michael Thornton. You've served in several military engagements until you were recruited, a soldier. I'm an operative now. After Saudi, I had to change my five-year plan. So, is that it for my background? Can we get to the fight, or...? Reports place you as someone who prefers action over tactics. A thug. You obviously read half the file, unless you're describing yourself. So you've done your homework, congratulations. I know who you are, too. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, toady, henchman. Chief of security, as of a year ago. Those gloves keep the dirt off? Ah, uh, yes. And the blood. When need be. Considering how public your actions have been in Rome, and how many CIA and NSA agents you've killed, I think you're hardly in a place to lecture me. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. Looking to kill every Halbeck stooge I can find and crush this get-rich-quick scheme you corporate drones have planned. You're a smart guy. How do you think this is going to turn out for you? Me, I already have a pretty good idea. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders. And I am a cautious person. Well... We're done talking, so you can go fuck off now. I expected that reaction. I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable. But pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. There's nothing you can do to me, Marburg. Go ahead, kill everyone, make some money, retire. I'll find you eventually, I promise. I do not believe you're willing to let others die needlessly. Or else you would not be here. You know nothing about me except what you've read in a file. You're in for a surprise. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. I think you're the one who needs to leave. And it's simple, because your boss's plan is flawed. Really? Leyland's never seen the world outside of the boardroom or an air-conditioned limo. And he's planning something to change the world? Doesn't seem to me like he knows what he's doing. Of course. He provided a goal, another provided a plan, I provided the means. We are done here. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. You weren't hard to find in Rome, you know. After that debacle at the CIA listening post, the reports of what happened in that gelato shop, the shooting outside of Rome, <sighs> that poor professor taking that bullet like that. Finding you was easy. I wanted you to of find Of course you did. And that's when you and Mr. Marburg met up and had lunch. There wasn't much time to eat, actually. He was too busy talking, and I was too busy keeping my hands where he could see them. <laughs> so a normal business lunch, then. I'd be curious to hear more, and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? Nothing important. Just you. He described you as... Oh, what was it? Tense. Easily angered. 
But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which... This woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. In the end, it was. Problem. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison, I think she's going to act. What do you mean, now? She's calling the operator and asking for you by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? Because if she's an agent, we'll know soon enough. Do it. Okay, let me patch her through. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? Who were you trying to reach? Michael Thornton. How many times do I have to tell you people? This is an emergency. And your reason for calling? What? Who is this? I'm Michael Thornton. I want to know why you're looking for me. I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She's a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? I'll come meet you now. Where are you? I just left work. But we shouldn't meet here. I'm sending you an address near your location. We'll meet there. Fifteen minutes and come along. This is a trap. I'm sorry? No, Mr. Thornton. I assure you it's not. We'll see. I'll be there soon. Don't be late. Thank you for meeting me, Mr. Thornton. Just tell me what you know. We'll keep this brief. Oh, okay. I, uh, where to start? The beginning? I work for the Veteran Combat Initiative, VCI. 
They're a global military contractor. My boss, Mr. Marburg, I think he's involved in something illegal. So I checked it out, and your name came up several times in our database. And you just happened to come across this information? Yes. Mr. Thornton, I don't think he meant for me to see it, but in my position... So he just left this out accidentally for you to find? I find that hard to believe. Mr. Thornton, I don't know what you're implying, but I came here to help you. We'll see. Where is this information anyway? If you're telling the truth, then it's evidence. I don't have it on me. What a surprise. So I just have to go on your word then. Mr. Thornton, I'm not sure what to do next. Go to the authorities? Is there someone I should notify, or...? Let's cut out the small talk. You work for Marburg, he wants me out of Rome, and you're sent here as some ploy to get intel on me or take me out. What? No, you have it wrong. I'm not done. When you open your mouth again, you're going to tell me about Marburg, his plans in Rome, and then you're going to give me all the passcodes to the Halbeck and VCI mainframes. I'm only going to ask once. Mr. Thornton, I came here to warn you. Mr. Marburg's dangerous. He wants to kill you. Miss St. James, you've only been employed by the VCI for a short time, and as Marburg's assistant. That's an important position, especially for a man of his influence. Yes. I was abroad studying art history, but when it comes to paying the bills, I thought I would apply for an administrative assistant position. The language skills helped. VCI does a lot of work with foreign governments. My point is, what you discovered is sensitive information. This could prove dangerous for you. I know. I need those files. Are they in the VCI branch office? I don't know what you're looking for, but the VCI office in Rome isn't Marburg's personal office. He does most of his work off-site, or when he travels. But he's here now, so where would he store the information while in Rome? He has a villa. I've been there several times. If the files exist, I'm guessing they'd be there. Along with Marburg? Yes. Give me the address. Can you get me in? What? Passcodes, details on the security system, anything would be helpful. I can give you the address, but that other information... You have two choices. One, help me. Or two, don't. If you don't, I'll tell Marburg what you've done. What? If you're lucky, you'll lose your job. If you're right, you'll vanish. Mr. Thornton, please don't do this. I'll... I'll go to the authorities. If you try and leave here now, you won't make it. I'm not letting you ruin this chance for me. I came to you because I was scared of what Marburg would do to you. But you're even worse than him. You have no idea. I'll help you. I can get you the address to the villa, and the names of the files you need to search for. Then that's all I need. Come with me. Bitch. Asshole.